Welcome back to a, another review episode of Toys to Men. It's Lunchbox bringing you the review for the Iron Fist Marvel Legend figure. As you can see, he's extremely poseable. Got him set up in a Bruce Lee style stance here. This character is pretty sweet. Again, like I said, super tight joints. Head turns would be a full 360 if it wasn't for this awesome collar he has. The hands, the fingers move back and forth. They're not individually articulated. Uh, good joints in the shoulders. He has the uh, extra, you know, like the second set of joint there that he can flop out with. And on his other hand, the fingers are extended, but again, they are not individually articulated. But again, this figure is super poseable, and he has the double knee joints, as you can see right here. The top one doesn't really go back a whole lot, but that's only because there's actually, you know, part of his knee right back here. He has the leather belt accessory here. Uh, the belt on his suit is obviously painted on, but they attach the little leather thing here that kind of gives it that little extra flair you'd want to see in your karate guys. You know what I mean? But you can pose this guy any way you want. He uh, kind of reminds me, really, of a Spider-Man figure. Uh, could be posed up pretty much any way you want him. The uh, the colors on here, I like the uh, green-yellow suit. I didn't really used to be that big of a fan of it. But uh, after seeing this figure and, you know, having it displayed for, you know, weeks on end, I, you know, kind of grew accustomed to it. And uh, I like the paint job that they did here. Um... This figure is kind of a little bit beat up, but the paint still looks great on him. And uh, on the back here, you can see how they did kind of like this uh, two-tone style thing here. You have a little darker yellow, then it fades up into the lighter. But um, all in all, this figure is pretty great. Um, as always, you guys know how we feel about Marvel Legends. Uh, the more you know, the more poseable they are, the better. And uh, it's really hard to beat. You know, figure you can pose up in a variety of, you know, different karate stances. Uh, anything you'd want to do with him, pretty much. He's even got the extra toe joint that you guys know that I like so well, because you can, you know, pose him up like they're running or, you know, doing anything, really. Um, but this is an absolutely solid figure. Uh, if you guys can find a way to get your hands on one, I recommend you do so. Even if you're not really a big Iron Fist fan, it's just cool to have. And just to have it displayed is, it's just awesome to look at. So if you guys can, I'd recommend picking that up. And while you guys are looking over the internet for that, you're going to want to stop by toys 2 mennet and check out all of our reviews. You know, we have links to our videos on YouTube. Our tweets are up there. Uh, you can follow our Twitter from our website. And uh, check out all the posts that we've been doing, guys. I'm trying to bring you as much geek news as possible. And uh, if you guys like what you see, you know, let us know. Let us know if there's anything you guys like to see more of, maybe less of, which I'm going to assume is nothing because it's all pretty awesome. But as for that, this has been the review of the Iron Fist Marvel Legend figure. And Lunchbox out. <laughs>